Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Nicole with the Bushel and a Peck Designs. Today we are working on a 40 ounce tumbler from the tumbler supply store. I started by spray painting the whole thing white and then I applied my two coats of epoxy and in the first coat of epoxy I added Agenda and Fabulous from Sandy's Organized Chaos glitters and then also the white that is unlabeled in that picture is from my dump glitter collections. All I did was mix it into my epoxy and give it a good coat and then one more coat to make sure that this was completely smooth before we move on to this next step. So we're at that point now and I'm going to first paint the handle yellow over the white base and I only had a little tiny bit of this alcohol ink, alcohol ink left in the jar but I really wanted to use this color because I felt like it was the most sunflowery color. I didn't want like a bright sun yellow. I wanted more sunflower yellow if that makes sense. So I pulled off the top with some pliers and then I am just taking a paintbrush and painting this handle. I first taped off all around the edge to try to avoid getting as much of this alcohol ink on the actual tumbler base as possible. So I am just going to continue painting the entire thing. I did start to run out of this yellow color so I did add a little bit of a lighter yellow just towards the end to kind of mix it in to help maybe blend it so that it didn't look so sun yellow but I still wanted to be able to have coverage on the whole entire thing. I could have painted it but because we're using water slide and water slide is more of a translucent look I also wanted the handle to kind of have that translucenty look as well. Once I was all finished with the handle and I let it dry for a few minutes, I pulled off all of that painter's tape and then I realized that the alcohol ink still seeped under and got on the tumbler. So I am just taking a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol on it and trying to clean this up as much as possible. I decided I am going to work with this little mishap and just cover it up with water slide, but I wanted to just get off as much as I possibly could. So then we are going to move on to the water slide portion. I am actually making this for my friend from high school. Her and I were very best friends and she is a photographer in California still and I absolutely love her to death. And I designed this new logo for her recently so I wanted to make her a fun tumbler to match. She absolutely loves sunflowers, always has, so I printed all of these images on water slide paper and then I coated it three good coats with Rust-Oleum's clear glossy spray paint and I for the logo printed it twice because I wanted to double it up a little bit just so that it was a little bit brighter and bolder than the rest of the images. So I laid the first one down and then I take my little silicone squeegee tool thing here, whatever this thing is called, and I push out all the extra water and then I laid the second water slide immediately right on top of it. And then we are going to move into the sunflowers. I believe I found these sunflowers on Creative Fabrica. I will try to double check. If I didn't get them there, then I got them on Etsy, but I'm pretty sure I got them on Creative Fabrica. So I printed the sunflower stalks or whatever these things are called, like the bushels of sunflowers. Those images, I just printed them each once because I wanted those to be more of like an accent and I wanted the logo to be bolder. So that's why I did that one twice. And because this 
tumbler has a little lip. I am trying not to wrinkle the water slide. It is still very delicate. So I just cut it a little notch so that it would help it lay down a little bit flatter and not have a bubble under there. I am trying to be very careful and not rip it. The reason I put so many coats of the clear glossy spray paint on is because it kind of makes it a little bit thicker and a little bit ply more pliable, I guess you could say, to work with when laying it down versus being very, very delicate. It is still very delicate, but it gives me a little bit of more playroom to manipulate it without it ripping. That's been my experience. Not that I've not ever ripped it because I've done that several times before too, but to me, it just gives a little bit more room and I can usually peel it off in one giant piece versus having to slide off the backing when applying. When I printed the individual and the bushels of sunflowers, I just printed them in different sizes because I knew I wanted them to basically wrap around the bottom portion of the tumbler. So I just did them in different sizes with no real game plan in mind beforehand. And I figured once I get to this point and apply them, I will just start applying them and go from there. Just kind of winging it as I go basically. While you watch me apply all these water slide sunflowers, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has been patient with me and sent me messages checking on my arm situation and knowing that I've been a little MIA lately. Our daughter joined Color Guard and we have been doing all the volunteering things while they had band camp and it's been a lot of fun but a lot of work we helped get the concession stand ready because they remodeled it this year so it's been full on dinner service at band camp for two weeks and life is about to be crazy when school starts and my arm situation i've been seeing a muscular therapist and i'm happy to report that i have a little to no pain now and it still goes numb occasionally but nothing like it was so I feel so much better in that sense I am able to actually function as an adult and a human instead of laying in pain on the couch so I am so thankful for everyone who has messaged me emailed me inquired and text me asking about my arm Thank you so much. So I will be better. I'm more back on track now that Bandcamp has slowed down and we're back to not all the craziness. But here I had an individual sunflower. I cut off the stem and decided I was going to put it at the base of this handle to just cover up that yellow spot from the alcohol ink and it worked perfectly. I just had to trim it off a little bit around where the handle lands just to so it wasn't curled up on the handle. I really wanted it to more look like it was wrapped around the handle not going up on the handle. So I'm just kind of working it here and then I will take my X-Acto knife and trim off the water slide around the alcohol ink portion of that handle just so it's not up there possibly able to cause a bubble from being bent up like that. The portion of this water slide that is hanging over the top edge, I am going to just let it hang out hang over until it's completely dry and then I will trim it off and then I'm just going to do the same thing with that yellow spot on the bottom portion of this handle and cover it up with another water slide and the reason I use this squeegee tool thing is it really helps squeegee out all of the excess water 
And then before this is completely, completely dry, I am going to trim off that water slide on the handle just so that it doesn't dry on there. And then we will go back later and trim off that top edge. You can see it still moved a little bit too much. And then I decided to need a little, a little bit something more on this side of the handle since it was kind of heavy with the sunflowers on the other side. So I just took another water slide print and I am applying it on this side of the handle. That way you can also see a little bit around the handle from the front side of the tumbler when you're looking at the logo as well. So I felt like it just kind of brought it all together. And then at the very end, I am just taking a pretty dry paper towel and just patting around all of the water slide areas and just kind of brushing it to help relieve any extra water spots or bubbles that may be formed under the water slide area. And then I gave it two final coats of epoxy and this beauty was all done. I absolutely love that alcohol ink painted handle because it really gives that same look as the water slide sunflowers. And as usual, I will leave all of the information down in the description box where you can find me and the products that I use. I hope that I have inspired you in one way or another, and I will be back to my regularly scheduled programming this week, I promise you. Thanks again for sticking around and stopping by, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.